So this is our fourth week, and that means we are in the home stretch. Now I'm looking at it and I'm seeing way more behind this than I am in front of us. It's very exciting heading into the home stretch, knowing that uh, I think we're onto something really special. You know, with any film we make, the canvas on which we tell our story is such a critical element of our process. And from the moment we stepped foot into the Sloss Furnace factory, we knew that this location was gonna be a huge character in the shift. And one of the first places we visited was Sloss Furnace. And it was one of those like incredible, incredible locations that made us think, wow, whatever we do, we have to shoot in this place. So much so that I went back, I looked at the script, and I just thought through every single scene and just tried to figure out what could we rewrite that it would actually fit at Sloss Furnace. You can just create your own world, and that's why this story was so interesting to me, and that actually was a big uh, component as to why I wanted to be a part of this. Uh, we're so grateful as storytellers to have the opportunity to put all this to work. I know that what's on the page, the script is so important, the actors that we cast, the crew we put around the movie. Being able to tell the story in the right environment, and I think we've found that with Sloss. All of our crew positions are really critically important, of course. One that is vitally important is the role of the second, second assistant director. But what that person does is largely corral and navigate and orchestrate and shepherd our background extras. My, my primary objective today, uh, we have a huge kind of crowd protest scene uh, and I have a group of people that are going to be behind that barricade back there and they are protesting the injustice of our Lancers. Over 150 extras. And my job is just to take that crowd, make it look as big and as active as possible in the scene so that when we watch the scene in the movie and you've added in all the sounds and everything, it looks as big as it will probably sound and, and feel on camera. In the months leading up to producing The Shift, Brock and I talked uh, so often about the locations for the movie. I wonder if we ever allowed ourselves to quite imagine that they would be as perfect as what we've realized here in Birmingham. I read the script and I feel like I have a grasp on it, but being here, being in these locations is really just adding such a layer to the environment that I'm just kind of watching it in awe, but I'm like, no, no, I'm in the scene. Birmingham just checks all the location boxes for us. What a, what a pleasure after having spent many, many months in daily contact with Brock to uh, watch him step into executing what we've been discussing for hours and hours and hours on end over all these months. It's a real joy to watch that vision that he's been incubating for years finally take flight. He looks with wonder and amazement at the cast and the crew and the locations, and, and I know he's full of gratitude. And uh, as a producer, it's just, it's really exciting to see a director step into uh, what he's dreamt of doing and to do it well. <laughs>